Hello everyone, welcome to day two of my 2011 holiday card series. So for today's card, I am starting with this image from the Greeting Farm set, A Cheeky Xmas. I've inked her up with Memento Tuxedo Buck ink and then stamped the image onto CC Designs Copic Quality 110 pound cardstock. And as always, I start with the skin, so I just lay down a base with my E50 marker. I'm not bothering to be neat because it's all going to get blended out anyway. Um, then I go in with my E01 and add a bit of darkness to it. And then E13 is my darkest and very light with that. And then I blend out the E13 with the E01. And then finally blend everything together again with my E50. And as always using really small circular motion to really blend all the colors together and to smooth everything out. And then once I've got all of that down, I decided to add a little bit of turquoise colored eyeshadow. So I used um, BG05 first and then blended that out with a bit of BG02 and then again went back with my E50 just to blend out a teeny bit more. And then I added a bit of um, shadow to the skin using my BV000 and this again I'm going really really lightly using the very tip of my marker because if you add too much it just it looks gross so really lightly but always with that one if you go like overboard you can just blend it out with one of the skin colors and then now on to her hair I started with E23 which was my lightest and since her hair is wavy I'm just trying to add where I think the darkest areas would be so then I go in with E25 and then now my E27 and then E29 which I use a very light hand with and barely add any and then as always working my way back blending out the E29 with the E27 then blending that out with the E25 and then finally blending everything together with the E23 and then as my last touch using the darkest the E29 and just adding like strands just to give it a bit more um, dimension and now on her clothes I'm just using um, R24 and then going in with a bit of R27 and then blending that out again with the R24 and then for all the white areas like on her hat and on her clothing I have started with BG10 and then I went in with G quadruple zero um, just lightly basically just right over the BG10 and then I blend that a little bit with the BG BG quadruple zero and then once I've got that I'm going in with my colorless blender and this is where I really use quite a bit um, I fully saturate this area with the zero just to really blend it out to white and as it dries you can see it basically fades as it goes deeper into the cardstock so once that's all done I'm gonna paper piece her little hat and I'm just using um, one of the pattern papers from the Bella Boulevard Christmas Wishes um, collection so I stamp that cut it out and then adhere it over the image with my Tombow Mono Multi and once that's done I gotta add a little bit of depth to the hat so it's not just floating there so I'm just using um, a W3 and then a W1 um, Copic marker and then that's all there is to it for the image so now on to the card so like I said, I'm using pattern papers from the Bella Boulevard um, Christmas Witch Wishes <laughs> collection. I have got Halloween on the brain. Oy. Um, and I've decided to make a square card this time. So I cut a piece of turquoise cardstock with a CC Designs dotty trim die. I just wanted to pull in a little bit more turquoise since there's that pop of it in this collection. So once I've got that, I... Um, cut a piece of craft cardstock with the Spellbinders, I think this is the label, nine die, yes. Um, adhered everything for the card front and then decided to add a little bit of ribbon. This is just May Arts ribbon from um, my stash. So I wrapped that around the card front, taped it with acid-free tape on the back and then took a second piece and tied that for my bow. So then I've got all that done and it'll be time to go on to um, adding a sentiment to the card. So for the sentiment I decided I wanted to use another piece of craft cardstock and I pulled out um, my Big Christmas Wishes um, stamp set. So I inked up the holidays with 
Memento Rhubarb Stock ink. Stamp that onto the cardstock, and then the Happy I inked up with just the Tuxedo Black ink, and stamp that over top, and then trimmed it out, and then decided I wanted to round one of the corners, so I used just my EK Success corner rounder punch, and then didn't like that, so I rounded both of the corners, and liked that a lot better. So I used my ATG adhesive to adhere that into place. And then it's a matter of adding some embellishments. So I just grabbed some scrap white cardstock and then one of my Martha Stewart um, snowflake punches and punched out a few little snowflakes, fiddled around with where I wanted to put them on the card. I wasn't really sure, but finally decided on this layout. So then I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers Brad Piercing and Setting Tool. I get asked a ton where I got it. Um, I'd order mine online from stampingbella.com. I don't think they carry it anymore. People have found it at Michael's. Um, just Google it. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. This tool is kind of a must-have in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I attached all the little snowflakes with some glittery doodle bug brads from my stash and then adhered down the main image. And then I didn't want her just kind of floating there either, so I added just a little bit of grounding with the W3 and W1 Copic markers and then just kind of blended it out a little bit more with um, the colorless blender. And then of course I adhere that to the card front and like I said this is going to be a five and a half inch square card. So I adhere that to the card front and I couldn't leave it as is. You gotta add, bling it up a little bit so I'm going to use diamond stickles on all the fur parts of her outfit and I just dab it on really lightly like just dot it on. I find if you do it this way it dries a hundred times faster than if you just lay on a thick layer of stickles because that takes forever to dry. So if you just dot it like this, one, it really looks really cool and two, it dries super fast. So that's kind of my preferred way of doing it. So now I'm just going to go on and do the inside of the cards. So I just cut some more uh, pattern papers and then another strip of the turquoise cardstock with that dotty trim die. And then I need a sentiment to go on the inside. So I chose a sentiment from the handy Christmas greeting set and I inked up the bottom half of the sentiment with the rhubarb stock ink. That's why I like these little um, ink pads, just the way they're shaped, it's easy to do this. And then the top part of the sentiment I inked up with the black ink so that you'd get um, two colors on there and it would stand out a little bit more. And then I trim that up and then adhere everything for the inside of the card and then flip that at the last minute because I thought it looked better that way. And then again, decided to use the corner rounder punch on the sentiment part. And then that was all there was to it. So I'm just going to adhere this to the inside of the card. And then it's finished. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, links to everything will be in the description box below the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.